Hi there, I'm Char, and welcome back to my channel! <laughs> Hi there, I'm Char, welcome back to my channel to the readings playlist. Today we are here for our weekly forecast for the first week of March 2020. Yay, spring is around the corner. So let's have a look and see what March 1st to 7th has in store for us. I have three lovely piles here, and I've got a whale and a seal and a penguin to share with you today. So I will bring you in and we'll have a look at the cards and you can pick which pile you would like to have a closer look at. And what are we reading with today? Oh, I think an extra card snuck in there. I've got Mystic Mondays, the Steampunk Tarot, um, the Egyptian Tarot, and what else do we have in there? Oh, and another one. We'll have a look when we get to them. So let's bring you in and have a look, and then we'll get started on this weekly forecast reading. Okay, so here we are having a look at the three piles. We have a windstorm going on outside. So that is our nature energy that is contributing today. So up first we've got this cute little penguin. Hello little penguin. Beautiful, beautiful crystal, water crystal. Second we have this gorgeous little seal. And again, a beautiful water crystal. These are all by the same artist. And then we've got this gorgeous little whale. And again, this gorgeous water crystal. A wolf original. That's right. There's the artist sticker. So here we go. Let's have a look at the three of these. We're going to take a couple of deep breaths together while we decide on which card. Clear our minds. Open our eyes. And then we'll pick a, pick a pile and we'll go on with the reading. So deep breath in through the nose and out, breathe out through the mouth. Here we go. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. your breathing and think about which pile of cards you would like to have a more in-depth look at today. Penguin, seal, or whale? All right, let's get started. Okay, so here we go. Let's get started with this cute little whale first. Lovely, lovely background tablecloth. So we have the Water Crystal Oracle up first. All right, you guys. Wondering if we can zoom in just a bit more. So let's get started on this reading. Our first card today is from the Water Crystal Oracle deck. It's beautiful. It is an earth crystal. So that is what a droplet of water with the earth vibration freezes like. Such a beautiful thing. Kind of funny that there's a little whale on an earth card. So let's keep going and see what we have today. Moldavite. Moldavite is a nice earth thing um, crystal as well. Ooh, is that a good light there? Ah. This shows a green towering moldavite. Let's have a look in the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle book and see where we're at with this moldavite. Multi-dimensional vibrations. This week is interesting. It's the beginning week of a month, so new things, you know. Um, ooh, a full moon coming up on the 9th. Very interesting. So here's Moldavite. Your healing insight to this card here is that you are far more than a physical body. Harmony at all levels creates your well-being. 
So looking for a spiritual, physical, emotional, additional to physical um, well-being, self-care tactics is what this is giving you uh, the indication for. And going in beside this earth card, try some grounding, try some earthing, maybe a meditation or putting your feet in earth or water, a natural body of water. Alright, these Mystic Monday cards are a lot of fun and our first, oh, into the three card spread here, um, our first card here is the Five of Cups. So with the Five of Cups, um, are we needing to get that grounding done and be aware of how we're feeling about ourselves? Is there a sense of self-pity? Um, is there a sense of grief that's going on? Or is it something to do with um, not feeling very grounded, just feeling kind of like, blah, and, and sort of snappish? Um, <laughs> The Five of Cups. Nothing is completely spilled out though. So dealing with whatever it is that's coming to the surface right now is going to be very important. And earthing and grounding is going to be one of those things that um, is definitely going to help with that situation. Let's see what the Egyptian has to say. The Queen of Cups. So being in charge of those emotions, owning them, recognizing them, and seeing them for what they are. Because, you know, sometimes um, anger can be disguised as grief. It, and it's not necessarily because of somebody dying that's close to you. It could be something, a habit that's gone or a way of life that no longer serves your higher good. You can grieve for those moments. And having this Queen of Cups come in gives it like... You're going to be a little bit vulnerable for a while, but you're going to be in charge of it again. Think of ways that you can nurture yourself and, and keep that maybe like a motherly instinct going into this. Love yourself a little extra. Allow people to love you a little extra. Um, trying new things and, and just getting rid of cycles that no longer serve the purpose. So the third card comes... Oh, perfect. The third one comes from my Animal Wise deck. And this is the Three of the Winged Ones. This is also um, the Three of Swords card. This is a rose-breasted grosbeak. And this card here has really taught me a lot about the Three of Swords because it really, really talks about the healing of the heart. Taking those swords out of the heart, letting it heal, having that moment, really, really, really taking the time to do that earthing, to ground right in there. Letting go of what's no longer serving. So if it is a little bit of a grief situation here with that Five of Cups, this Three of Swords completely explains it. And if you can't quite put your finger on it yet, um, just have a few deep breaths and think about what that feeling is inside the pit of your belly or wherever that pain in your body is. Because sometimes it'll come up like that until you actually deal with it. So this uh, Three of Swords usually talks about um, heartbreak, but uh, this card has, in particular has really, really taught me about how the healing lessons are of the heart. So coming into that Queen of Cups again is, is, is quite, quite emotional. So very, very deep emotions going right now, and that's okay. But don't hold on to that anymore because it's not going to serve you. It's not serving your highest purpose. Your job is to let them go and to let that heart heal from the grief and the anger. Do the earth thing. The Moldavite will help with that. Okay, there seems to be a little extra card in here today. So according to the Steampunk Tarot, I've got the Two of Pentacles here. This is quite the lovely deck with quite the um, exhibit of artwork in it. And with the Two of Pentacles riding through turbulent waters and finding that balance there is really, really going to be beneficial, especially going into the spring. It's 2020. We are on a new decade. Lots of new things are going to happen, and it's scary AF. So letting go of things that we've been holding on to for a very long time. And, you know, you could think of things at the surface where it's like, oh, yeah, okay, I know what it is because of such and such incident in your life. And so let that surface happen. 
and then let those deeper feelings that you've repressed come up and own them and, and allow them to be and have that cry and own that feeling and let it come out of, the, out of your body. Let it breathe out of your system with some deep breaths. And if you find yourself crying like that, have some deep breaths through it. Um, I can share an experience that I had like last week with, with owning this emotional thing. And here I thought I was dealing with something and I did a breathing meditation and it, it cleared me of something that I no longer needed. And it was to do with that grief and, you know, like it was definitely the five of cups right there coming in, but I'm feeling a very queen about my emotions right now and allowing them to happen and feeling okay with that vulnerability because we'll find that balance in the turbulent waters. So that's what we do. We survive. We adapt. That's how we are. We're, we're humans and our adaptability is amazing. So finding that balance in the turbulent waters here in this Two of Pentacles. So it will happen if things are still, I think we're still in Mercury retrograde. So if things are still a little amok, that balance is there. The Two of Pentacles is there. And back to the earth. Um, at the bookends of this reading here, we've got an earth card here and a pentacles card here, which is earth. So really, really think about that this week, you guys. If this is a, a pile that has resonated with you, it's okay to, to be there. It's okay to own it. It's okay to have it. It's okay to have it. Um, and so we all go through these cycles and just own it. Let it be sit with it until it needs to go away and then just let it go. Um, there are many, many techniques and many different um, meditations. I have a playlist with them in it. Look for the ones that say breath work. And um, if you want to experience what I was talking about and give yourself some time, give yourself some time. Healing takes time and healing isn't always, oh, your fairy godmother comes in and waves her magic wand. Healing has those ugly points, so we need to allow those to happen and gain strength from that and gain that wisdom from that and take that lesson from that. So I wish you the best with this healing journey. It's going to be a heck of a week. Let's see what color we've got today. Indigo, purple, improve your vision. Number 40. Okay, so that, oh, let's, look, let's look at it against that green. So this is a really, really lovely card. It looks like a deep space. Absolutely looks like deep space. If you're finding yourself feeling a little bit overwhelmed throughout the week, think about the lovely color that is being displayed in here from earth to space and find that vibration comfort where you are on your planet. So really, really good things to, um, to think about this week. Oh, that Queen of Cups coming in. Definite, just owning it. Just so confident. And even through healing of the heart, this mama bird is still feeding those little babies. So carrying on and dealing with it as we go. So I've decided to add a, a Four Agreements card this week. Just for a little bit of fun. The Four Agreements is by Don Miguel Riez. There's a little card deck in correspondence with the book. And the insight that goes along with this is really quite fantastic. I love doing this as little daily cards and reminders for myself. So today with this pile, we've got um, be impeccable with your word. Seek to know the truth. So when you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement and it becomes part of your belief. The only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. Absolutely stunning cards, these decks. Um, just lovely, lovely, lovely little reminders about these agreements to make life better, raising our vibration to make them better. And it's absolutely lovely. Um, so when we speak our truth and we, we speak the truth, Things can be upset a little bit, um, and sometimes, you know what, if you're holding something in, you need to let that truth set you free, and have that freedom in your heart, and in your soul, and in your mind. So even if it's um, writing it down in a journal, and getting it out that way, if you have 
um, nobody to vocalize with or that's not your thing and writing is, then privately write it down in a journal. Be impeccable with your word and be truthful. All right, let's have, a, <laughs> let's have a look at our awesome unicorn card message for the week. Um, it says, happy thoughts. To feel happier right now, think about a memory or something else that makes you smile. So ways on getting through things. A little message to, hey, take those moments of beauty. We share moments of beauty every day. So if you can't find one, come on over. We'll help you find one. And, sh and have them start off your day with a happy thought every single day this week. That is what the unicorns are telling you. Oh, yay! What an awesome reading for Pile 1. It's going to be a little rough, but you're going to be okay. You've got what it takes within you to have this moment and have this experience and be able to release and move, move on. It is a growth experience with these emotions. Remember to do your earthing spells. Um, your earthing moments. Take those moments to find the balance. Touch dirt, touch a tree, touch some rocks, touch some natural water. Um, like not the stuff out of your tap. If that's all you got, then do that too and just be like, I'm pretending you're an ocean. I'm pretending you're a lake. Um, touch the earth, touch nature. And that will help throughout the week. And your color is purple. Oh, what a lovely reading. Thank you so much for letting me read your cards, Pile One. Mwah. Oh, cute little whale. Let's go on to Pile Number Two. All right, here we go for Pile Two. This is the one with the seal. Er, 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 er. Little seal going on there. We'll set him down there. Keep an eye on what we've got going on here. Ooh. So as far as far as our water crystal oracle goes, this is a power card for eternity. Eternity there. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful water crystal. So let's set that down and see what our stone card is today. Rhodosite. Rhodosite. Oh, it's pretty purple. Nice little spheres of that right there. Let's see what the healing properties are of that one are. I feel like we've had this this stone come up here before. It's a green. So the healing insight for this rosalite. Mighty power. Living in a healthy, stable environment creates a stable physical body. So that's good on the eternity front. Very good. All right, let's get into this uh, four card spread here and see what our week entails, starting with Mystic Monday. Ooh, we've got the Judgment card. So when Judgment comes up, so bright and vibrant. When judgment comes up, it lets us know not to be so harsh on ourselves or others. There's every, everybody goes through things, right? So including yourself, watch yourself dialogue. This is a moment. It's like, are you at the end of a project? Are you at the end of the cycle? Don't nitpick over the details and be too judgmental on yourself. This is getting you ready for that next step. Mmm, the judgment card. Let's see what's next in your reading here today. With the Egyptian tarot. Ooh, the Eight of Wands. All right, that's this is coming together. Something's clicking over there. Oh, it's my table. This is coming together. So the Eight of Wands. In this deck right here, it depicts somebody pulling the arrow back and shooting it forward. So this is kind of a, a symbol of a couple of different things. Eight of Wands generally symbolizes a lot of stuff coming at you. Um, and you're going to have to probably say no to some of these things. But some of them also, just like the arrow here in this card with the Egyptian deck, it's getting pulled back to be sprung forward. So things, it, while they feel like they're coming at you, you do have things to learn from it. Okay? So let's see what's next in this reading with the animals. 
we've got the Knight of Pentacles that comes in, and that's a cougar. So that's coming into our own power. Oh, this is making sense. So with this Judgment card and the Knight of Pentacles coming into our own power here, we've got, it's like you're working, working, working. You've got things coming at you. Some things are working through, and you've got this Knight of Pentacles. Very slow and steady sort of winning the race here. Um, but don't be too nitpicky about those details with the with this happening. I like how in these cards, the Eight of Wands, um, the person is, is released that arrow, is in a positive shooting stance, and has its, his sights set on where this arrow was going, while these other ones are right in front. Um, with the traditional Red Weight Tarot deck, it's there's a blockage there, right? Like something's blocking you. But you do have what you need to release, like to go forward. You've got that within you. And that's what this a cougar is telling us, this earth card. Um, the knight of the four It's coming into your own power. So with that eight of wands being shot forward, coming into your power with that. Ooh, it's exciting. Let's see what this steampunk card has to say. Six of Pentacles. So with coming into your own power, making sure things are balanced, making sure things are how they should be, um, giving giving extra if you have extra, making sure there's balance with homework, with home charity, with charity work. Make sure there's balance there. There is enough. Everybody's going to have abundance. So making sure that there is a balance here. There is a set of scales in there and that person is making sure that both hands are getting those coins into them. What a fantastic reading this is. We've got Judgment to the Six of Pentacles. So definitely this week is going to put some things ahead of you that are going to make you grow. Um, and yeah, well, it's not all strawberries and whipped cream. It's going to make you grow. And with growth comes evolution. Evolution happens for eternity. We've got the protection there. So definitely with this reading, don't be harsh and judgmental on yourself or others. Um, things are put in front of you for, for reasons. And you know what? It really sucks sometimes, but things are put in front of us for reasons. And ha the fact that this arrow is being shot past that... You've got what you need within you and coming into your own power to see that balance happen again. That's a great reading. Um, so whatever challenges are ahead of you this week, you've got it. You've got it. You've got control of this. All right. Let's have a look. Oh, another purple card. So developmental clarity. Again, with that judgment card, changing the narrative in the mind is going to change the mindset. So instead of nitpicking, celebrate how far you've come. Celebrate the things that you have done. And if you're, oh, I love how the purples are very similar there. Um, finding the moment that you just need to take a deep breath. Just think about this beautiful, beautiful purple flower right here. Develop mental clarity. It's absolutely lovely. Um, a really nice thought to, to stop and think about. For the week. So our four agreements card for pile number two here is don't make assumptions. Speak openly and honestly. When you speak openly and honestly, you won't have to make assumptions. The day you stop making assumptions, you will communicate cleanly and clearly and achieve impeccability with your word. All right, so if those things that are being put in front of you, you don't want to do or deal with or it is beyond your capabilities, vocalize that and share your opinions. Share them openly and fairly. And also at that point, remember, just because you have an opinion does not make it right or sway if other people don't agree with it. And I know it's kind of harsh to hear. We are all entitled to our own opinions. Um we are not entitled to force that on other people. So speak op openly and honestly and allow other people to do that as well. So let's see what our unicorn card has to say. Laughter. It says you need a good laugh. Oh, it might be a good time to watch 
comedy reel or some bloopers or um, whatever it is that makes you feel good, that gives you that moment of giggle in your belly that makes you laugh. Um, you need to do that. You need to laugh. Laugh out loud. Look at funny memes until they're ridiculous. Watch your favorite cartoons from when you were younger. So don't be too harsh on yourself or others this week with that judgment card coming in. It's like having a look at things that you've done. And really, instead of looking at things that are, are um, an obstacle, look at what that arrow, where it's going. Look at what you have done and what you can do. And then take control from there. And that cougar right here coming into your own power just is an absolutely wonderful thing to find that balance towards the end of the week with the Six of Pentacles. Awesome. What a lovely reading. You've got this. And yes, we do all have challenges at, during different phases of our lives. And you know what? You've got this. You're going to push through it. It's going to... Seven days. We're all going to be faced with a challenge of some sort. We're all going to be faced with something to rejoice of some sort. So the best of week to you. I thank you for letting me read your cards. Let's have a look at pile number three. All right, pile number three is this cutie patootie little penguin waddling around out there in the snow. These are soapstones, all by the same artist. They belong to they belonged to my dad, so it's kind of neat. I have them sitting up on my fridge, and I was thinking, what should I use today? And I'm like, oh, those are cute. Let's bring these upstairs. So we have these cute little soapstone sculptures today. So our ooh. Beautiful, beautiful ice crystal here is an earth card. It is the coral reef. So very interesting that we have an earth card with a water message with it. Flow with the water, find balance, solid flow water, solid earth flow water, and finding a balance in there. Let's have a look Ooh, at what our healing crystal is this week. This is Golden Healer. And we have had this before, but you know what? We all come here for reasons, don't we? Um, so let's have a little look at what this golden healer has to say for us in the book. The healing properties for that. And it's a purple card. I'm, a, I'm just grooving on all the purple today, I think. So this is like an ultimate healing card. It's a beautiful cluster of crystals, pointed crystals. Love it. Healing insight flows through you. It is a process, not something you do. Ooh, flowing coral wreath, earth, that balance we were talking about. Okay, let's get on to our three card reading here. Oh man, if you're excited for this, let's hit that thumbs up button. Whoop whoop. Share it with your friends and see what pile they pick. Ha ha. All right. Well, in this deck, we've got the hanged woman. And she is hanging there from like a yoga trapeze upside down. However, this card is reversed. So whenever a hanged man, hanged woman comes up, it is time to be more flexible and it is time to look for different perspectives for things. So a different perspective is going to be coming your way um, with this card being reverse versus like being right side up. And also with the, uh, with the hanged man traditionally, it makes the number four. And fours, they, um, they bring safety from relief or from pressures. So by changing that perspective around, something is going to be brought to light here. But yeah, she's definitely cool. I love her funky orange and pink hair hanging out there on a yoga a trapeze or um, ribbon trapeze. What do you call that? I call that pretty phenomenal to be able to hang out like that. 
So the hanged man talks to us about having that different perspective, keeping our eyes open, keeping our heart open, keeping our mind open more than anything for that new perspective to come in. And you're going to have that like, oh, it's so obvious when you say it out loud moment. Or you're going to be like, oh, I get it now. So when the hangman comes in, that's what they're talking about. That, that moment, taking on that different perspective because that blinded way of looking at a specific thing is not going to do you any justice any longer. Let's see what the Egyptian cards have to say about it. So here we have the Prince of Wands. You know, a proud and creative, goal-oriented. Okay, going forth on that chariot, definitely moving through that fire. The Prince of Wands has a lion beside him, very in charge and confident. What a lovely, lovely companion to have there. But you can't see the beginning of the horses here, so this is going through. This, <laughs> this change is, is almost towards the end of the cycle, right? Because they're not getting ready. They're not thinking about it. They're going through that, that motion. Let's see what the Animal Wise has to say. We've got the Ace of Shapeshifters, which is water, um, and a cups, the Cups suit. So new love, joy, and health. So this cycle is going to be uh, a new perspective, maybe on how to heal yourself. Let's go into looking at a different alternative way of healing. What haven't you looked at before? Um, the butterfly, I love that they've chosen this for this card. With the Ace of Cups, we've got emotional uh, things happening. Um... It's like there's going to be an offering for you. And maybe an offering of knowledge about something new health-wise that you may want to listen to. Going into this new cycle. Getting excited about it. Let's see what this extra card has. The Page of Swords. Ooh, we've got two princes on the... Well, pages on the ends here on the bookends. Swords like to cut through things. They're very, very airy. And when we're dealing with uh, the Ace of Cups, we've got those princes. So what are they trying to tell us with these princes? With this Page of Swords right here. Okay, it's going to happen fast. Swords are fast. There's a hot air balloon ready to go. That page has her sword ready. She's got her sights on. The wind is blowing. There is no hesitation there. So this is a fast, fast thing. Like, that cycle is going to end quickly for you, I think. With this, this, um, the Prince of Wands, the Page of Wands coming right through in here. Okay. What a lovely, lovely reading. So if you come across an obstacle at all this week, think about things from a different perspective to try to come up with your solutions. Earth and water, flow, stability, find stability in the flow, right? Let's see what color we have. Ooh, cayenne, build your confidence. So, look at that beautiful blue. It ties right in with the coral reef. Going with the flow, finding that stability in that flow motion. Awesome, awesome. So thinking, if you're thinking about things or you need something to think about, focus on that. Whoop. Pause the video, have a look at it. Take a couple of deep breaths on it. Um, and so let's have a look at <laughs> your Four Agreements card for the week. These cards are fantastic. This is don't take anything personally. So the Four Agreements... Be impeccable with your word. Don't take anything personally. Don't make assumptions and always do your best. So we've got don't take anything personally. Embrace your freedom. Oh, there's two little birdies hugging right there. That's so cute. You gain a huge amount of freedom when you take nothing personally. No spell can affect you regardless of how strong it may be. And if you live without fear, if you love, you will be happy with your life. All right, and let's 
have a look and see what our unicorn message is here. You are gifted. You are very intelligent and talented. Oh, what a lovely unicorn card. What a lovely, lovely reading here. Oh, wow. Really straightforward. We do have those two young energies going on, so expect that cycle to come to an end quickly, and another one is going to start up quickly. But, you know, with this gifted card, you can handle it. You've got what you need um, within you to make a transition that is a little bit smooth. Remember this upside down hanged woman here. Remember that perspective, okay, going into your week. If something jolts you and it's just like, whoa, just go with it and, and see where that learning takes you into. Awesome. Thank you so much for letting me read your cards, Pile 3. You guys are absolutely fantastic, and I love doing these weekly forecasts for you every Sunday. Thank you so much for letting me read your cards for you today. And you can catch me live Tuesday and Thursday mornings doing live single card readings for you. I will throw the playlist in one of these squares that are popping up around my head. And also, it will take you to this playlist so you can check out other readings and see if they resonate with you. I've done a healing reading and lots of other fun stuff, um, personal readings in this playlist if you want to check it out. So I'd love to have you hit that like button if any of this resonated with you. Let me know in the comment section down below what pile you picked and let me know if it resonates with you. Um, we're going to have a great week. It's the beginning of March. Yay! March, March, March. We kind of had her in like a lion, so let's have a go at this. Thank you so much for letting me read for you, and I will see you Tuesday, tomorrow, vlog, vlog, daily vlog, Tuesday live. I'll see you. Hit that notification bell. I will see you everywhere. Bye.